Hey guys, welcome to Dead Matter Vlog 03. We've been working away at many additions and we are excited to show you what we've got in store as our world has received plenty of love from Nomad and Shirk over the last few weeks. Shirk has completed a new motel building set. Similar to most other structures in Dead Matter, these assets are completely modular and allow us to create multiple variations of the same building, allowing seasoned veterans of the game to easily figure out where they are and creating a sense of mystery for new players exploring our world. Shirk has begun work on a generic supermarket named after one of our backers. This is the first of many buildings to come that will incorporate backer names into them. Nomad has created a drive-in theater. The projector actually works, however we're still uncertain about the use of a certain George Romero film that was accidentally introduced into the United States public domain. We're based in Canada, so we'll be consulting with our legal counsel before moving forward with this feature. Not only has Nomad created a drive-in theater, he also created a post office that finally doesn't have a line consisting of more than 10 people, a gorgeous prison for you Walking Dead fans, as well as a police station, with an interrogation room that features a functional one-way mirror. While these locations haven't received their final polish pass yet, they will very shortly. Speaking of polish passes, Shirk has finalized the trailer park set, as well as our forest slash rural building set. Our housing and fortification system has seen many improvements. Electricity is no longer a magical force within your home, and you will have to place objects that draw power near electrical outlets in order to utilize them properly. We've also added in a few minor features that have been suggested to us by our community since our Kickstarter, such as the ability to shoot out lights and the ability to close your blinds in order to block zombie and player line of sight in lieu of barricading. Our gunplay mechanics have also seen some work, and our AKM has a brand new set of juicy animations to complement the new additions. We've also replaced our old hand meshes with a set of brand new hands made by the talented shiny Haxorus. Your arms will match your character's skin tone, and any gloves you're wearing will also show up in first person. Wearing gloves in cold weather will negate the effects the cold has on your weapon handling skills. Carry a pair on you and plan accordingly. Based on community feedback, we've been working on ways to remove as many HUD elements as we can from Dead Matter while still retaining a solid way to give the player information on how their character is currently doing. Every character will now start out with a smartwatch that can also be upgraded to a military grade one later on down the line once you eventually find one. Dead Matter is still early in development, but if you like what you've seen and want to get in on the alpha test, then please consider supporting us via Indiegogo. Keep in mind that once alpha testing starts, you will no longer be able to purchase any form of access until our release on Steam Early Access in early 2019. We're grateful for all of your support and truly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Give our account on Twitter a follow, at Dead Matter Game, and you can get access to all of our latest development updates. You could also feel free to join our community discord of over 7,000 people, where we engage our community daily. If you are a content creator, you can still apply for partnership status as we use an ongoing process for accepting new creators. There is a link for you in the description. Our subreddit is in a pretty terrible state at the current moment. None of us on the team really know enough about CSS in order to make it look pretty, but we'd like to utilize the platform. Please reach out to us if you're interested in helping out. Hey guys, welcome to Dead Matter Vlog 02. We've been working away at plenty of additions over the last month or so. We've had a little bit of a slow month due to the release of UE 4.20. However, Shirk has already made some additions to our lighting system using some new features exclusive to UE 4.20. He also made some shacks, trailers, and a small healthcare center that is still a work.